So this is the title screen of No More Heroes 2. Looks awesome. Looks like an old classic NES game or Super Nintendo game. Some weird hybrid of the two. There, there's going to be a lot more uh, pixelated aesthetics like that, and it's great. The only thing I've seen is the back of the box of um, of this game. And it's like the one where you're cooking on a grill or something. Yeah, that that's a fun mini game. And he really needs to stop swallowing his mouthwash. Hey, a pile of dog crap. That broke the window. Just kidding, guys. Well, we might as well figure out what's inside this dripping bag. It looks brown to me, but anyways. I'd like to think he woke up a couple neighbor neighbors with that. <laughs> it's really tragic. The heavenly dust returned to its maker, leaving in its place a blanket of sadness that covered Santa Destroy. Then the sun returned, and with it, Deafening gunfire and clanking swords. The battles had resumed. <sighs> Demons disguised as men running wild in an orgy of ultraviolence, as if to purge their souls of the hatred that blighted them. I have no idea what she was trying to say with that, aside from the battles coming back. The real battles? Mm -hmm. Where are you? I don't care who the fuck it is. Just give me someone to fight. You sound passionate. What's gotten into you? Someone killed Bishop. I understand. Wait for me at Burger Suplex. I'm surprised she knows who Bishop is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean. Maybe she saw him driving with um, Travis's bike. Maybe. So anyway, this game, we actually get to walk around Travis's room this time. We can interact with Gene over there. We can go look through our closet. Change our outfit again. This time we get to change more things. But first, the, we can look through all our shirts. Sorta. I don't like this jacket because it kind of covers up the shirts. Change our jackets, but we only have the one. Pants, sunglasses. We can change the wristband and glove now. Oh, that's and cool. And we can change our shoes. You know, this game looks a lot more grittier than the uh, first one. It does. Oh, you can knock over uh, trash cans in Travis's room too. It's a post yeah. Moe poster. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. There's Gene. We can't interact with the fridge and. Because we can't rent out videos anymore, this is how we're going to get new wrestling moves. By reading wrestling magazines. We already had that one. But this one... The belly to belly... Or belly to... I didn't even read that one. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, we got a new suplex. There's stuff on the TV, but we're gonna save for that for quite a ways later. He upgraded, I think, to a flat screen. Yeah, he did. Also, all the wrestling masks everywhere. If you have a, if you if you've collected them in a safe prior save file in No More Heroes One on your Wii, then they will show up here. That's really cool. Also, there's a picture of Thunder Ryu above his TV. <laughs> there, I remember, what were we gonna say? Oh, nothing. Uh. It's whole time. We got two jobs. And they're actually fun to play this time. And they pay pretty well. Oh, also, Santa Destroy World Map. No more pointless biking. And dramatic whoosh to go across the street.
I wonder if that's the same limo from the first game. You mean your best I don't know. Is this shopkeeper? I like her jacket. Sylvia. It's pretty nice, yeah. I'll make a deal. I'll conquer the rankings. Fight whoever it takes. And in return, you find me the assholes who killed Bishop. Calm down. You shouldn't make this personnel. It is the quickest way to lose a battle. This isn't a battle anymore. It's a motherfucking war. Fine. It makes no difference. Really. <laughs> the mastermind behind Bishop's death Poor is guy. the owner of Pizza Bat. Probably the died ending? on contact. Most of the city. He is the head of the corporation that runs it all. Jasper Bat Jr. And as fate would have it, he is also the number one assassin. You better not be lying. It is a fact. The object of your revenge is waiting at the top of the ranks. Wonderfully convenient, don't you think? Sure is. There's a new hotel on the beach. The 50th ranked assassin is waiting for you there. By the way, Bat Junior owns that hotel too. He really is everywhere, huh? Better hurry. There are 50 other fighters trying to kill him. You have no time to waste. Just sit back, Sylvia, and watch the hell I'm gonna raise. So, the UAA is actually legit. With the what? The UAA, remember how at the end of last game, uh, it was- Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was supposed to be a scam. Taking advantage of people's sorrows, he used his music to lure followers. He spoke of a grand faith, but his words were hollow. It was all to satisfy his own goal. He'd only found success because of strong financial support from the new Mafia, who used his pulpit to gain support for their own agenda. Many believed he was just a tool of an up-and-coming gangster. But the real goal that Is he a priest? Is he a thug? That's a secret. Is this happening after the game or right now? Um... That's hap- th That- the weird boot things are happening after the game. This thing, right? When she's like talking. Yeah. Anyway, we can go straight to the ranking battle now, and we don't have to pay an entry fee, but we're still gonna do the jobs because we still need money to buy uh, katanas and clothes and stuff. First one is Bug Out. <laughs> Weevil. Here's the new job guy. He doesn't talk about gods like the other one. I wonder what happened to the old guy. So, each, each of the new the jobs in No More Heroes 2 is based off of one of the older ones from No More Hero One. Eh, no More Heroes One. This one, you're pretty much sucking in and getting rid of the bugs. So I think it's like an updated version of the Scorpion game, which kind of has the same idea, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. Essentially, it's Luigi's Mansion, but you're collecting bugs instead. Those look like grasshoppers. Yeah, they are grasshoppers. There's Pretty all scary looking grasshoppers. They're as huge. They're as big as Travis. I know. Imagine just <laughs> walking around the street and seeing those. No wonder they needed exterminator. I remember, and I picked up this book in the library. I was reading it. This is when I was a kid, and they said that like snails were big as like humans back in the prehistoric days. That sounds terrifying. I know. You won. Yeah. So after each level, we get ranked on how much time we took, and if we got a perfect bonus, which for this game is not, you know, getting hit. And it pretty much just scales up with level. Also, you can increase the range on your vacuum by getting batteries, which look kind of like jugs of beer. Here's a battery. Look, now we have double the range. I'm not quite sure what the purple pills do. I I kind of glazed over the um what they did in the description. I thought you had I thought you had to kill um just bugs, not pests. Well, yeah, I thought so too, but mice are apparently bugs too, so it's it, it's probably more accurate to say this is like pest extermination. Well, at least they didn't have any giant ants. Oh, nope. yeah. 
And so freaky. Do you ever play that game Zombies Ate My Neighbors? I actually haven't. Oh, you messing out. You gotta try that game. There's any game that you gotta try out. It's that game. I, I really do want to someday. Have you ever heard about yes, it? Or I have. seen There's a one part in the game where you fight like giant ants. Just get the crap out of me when I was a kid. That's they were all scary looking. Yeah, sounds pretty scary. Black and brown and purple. That sounds pretty terrifying, actually. A a ants are really kind of freaky to me. And it doesn't help that my my house apparently has like an ant colony somewhere in there. Oh. Yeah. I bees. I, I think those are hor or hornets. Hornets Wasps. or moths, whatever. They they sting you and they can dart for straight for yeah towards you. Like through walls, and it's pretty terrible. Hey, and the scorpions are back too. Yep, scorpions. Also, see that brick block that looks like straight from Mario Brothers? Yeah. We can we can suck those in and blow blast them straight out at someone. Also, giant scorpions are in this too. Oh shit. There are a couple ways to deal with the giant scorpions, but you generally don't want to just like walk up and suck them in. Yeah. Because they're kind of resistant and they they will sting you, or at least shoot poison at you. You can use the pesticides, which we just picked up, and I think for this recording I, I forgot how to use. Or we can just shoot a block at them. I, I think it's easier, easier to shoot a block at them. Oh, damn. Yeah, I, 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 I forgot how to use the uh, pesticide. And you can throw acid at you, or poison? Yeah, they shoot poison at you. There's a battery down there too, that's pretty useful. Oh hey, you oh, actually can suck him up normally. It just takes forever. Oh yeah, not to bring up like moths and stuff again. Um, you know what I always tell people? If butterflies were real, that would scare the crap out of me. Yeah, those things are gigantic and huge and ugh. Then it have like that like bunch of eyes on it. Oh, then it, then especially butterfly that would be scary. Or beedrill. Beatles, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. We got we got nearly thirty thousand off that alone. I don't even know where we are anymore. We're like in the basement sewer. It looks, yeah, it looks like you're in like a sewer or something. Cause like the white things look like pipe. I'm mean, not pipes. I mean like um gates, holes. I don't I don't know. Yeah, like like grates. Yeah. I like the music for the uh, these mini games. Yeah, you know, I like how they add. It. I feel like you're playing a complete. Obviously, you are, but I feel like you're playing a completely different game. You know. Yeah. Um, funny. F uh, eh, a little funny thing about this game's songs and the, on the soundtrack, they're they're named in Spanish for some reason. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know if that's racist or funny. <laughs> I, I I think it's more funny than racist. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you stun an enemy and then, um, try to suck him in, they will just go instantly without putting up a fight. You can also suck through these pipes, but they won't actually go through, so you actually have to, uh, suck them in unobstructed. Damn you, Mickey Mouse. There we go. Uh, four left. Oh. Wait. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I was looking at the life counter. There's eight left. No. Yeah. It, it kind of sucks trying to suck a, or trying to deal with that, that, with that area because they can just shoot you through the walls. It's like Mega Man all over again. Don't even tell me about it. <laughs> That was just stupid. No. <laughs> that was just. <laughs> I don't know why I just kept going. Let's go. So pesticide's probably the best way to deal with it. Also, I found out how to activate it. Oh, I was gonna say we're you invisible for a second. Nah, it's probably just a flicker. Oh, 
how long the how long do these games mini games go for? Uh, they usually last about four stages. Oh, okay. I was gonna say because like, don't get me wrong, I love my mini games, but you know what I mean. Yeah, they they do kind of take a while. I'll, I'll try to cut them down to like maybe. No, nah, no, nah, don't worry about it. I'm I'm enjoying them. I hope you enjoyed me walking to the scorpion again. Dude, it even looked like you walked. You just, it looked like you just walked a tad near, and that's it. Yeah, like he he just touched my shoe. Well, I, I've kind of totally messed up the perfect bonus on this, which is kind of a shame because it's probably a lot of money. Come on. It, it's kind of annoying how the beam gets in your way there. Yeah. And with this, we're done. Yahoo! I like the digitized Travis voice too. Yeah, I like how it sounds like one of the like. Remember the um, James with Nerd video with um the Ghostbusters like Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, I forgot. I almost forgot the NES could uh, digitize voices very crappily. <laughs> that was actually pretty good of uh, Grasshopper manufacturer. Next one is one of my favorite games, Lay the Pipe. So, basically the pipe systems are like flooded and because like there's so much cheap pizza being flushed down. <laughs> so, it's up to us to go repair the pipe systems. This is a very common mini game, I think, in other games. But it, that doesn't change the fact that this is actually kind of fun to do. Play the pipe. Pick it up and press B to turn it. Move around. Let's go. So you just kind of make a path to the end, and that's about it. This is also probably my favorite mini game song. Yeah, kind of reminds me of Cat. Well, I don't know if I could say Castlevania, maybe like Mega Man. Yeah, it's more Mega Man than Castlevania. Ah, I actually haven't played any other games where this is like a mini game. Uh, have you? I, I, not really. I'm trying to think, but um, nothing's really coming to me. Oh well. Um. There are four stages in the, for this mini game, and each level, uh, there, there's two possible like layouts for each level. So even if you do want to use this as a guide, you might you might not be able to because you could get pattern B as opposed to this pattern A. But they're they're not so bad. I mean, you just kind of gotta work quickly and fall. You know, huh? No, I was just thinking a game that's like this is that alligator game. Alligator game? The one you have to give the crocodile or the alligator a shower. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about, I just don't know what it's called. It has to do why. It's like, where's the water or something? Something like that. I don't know. It's um, kind of similar. Hmm. I've never actually played that. Yeah, I played it like once or twice. It's whatever. Yeah. This is a pretty simple minigame when you really... Like you, you don't have, you don't actually have to follow the green pipes. You can just like go straight from red pipe to red pipe. But, yeah. But then you don't get the perfect bonus because you have to use all the green pipes perfect. You don't need all the blue pipes though. Um. How do you, how do you die in this if you just get it wrong? Uh, you see how the water in the red pipe over there on the left is kind of flowing? Yeah. If you take too long, it will eventually catch up to you and it will leak out. Oh, I see. And that's how you lose. But, 
at this point, we have plenty of time to work with. So yeah, I, I will be I will be damned if I end up losing. <laughs> Spoilers, I don't. Damn you! I probably could have shown off the fact that you don't need all the blue pipes for a perfect bonus here, but... Oh well. I, I, I wanted to use all the pipes. Like, at this point I realized, oh, I'm, I'm gonna have a couple left over if I don't move those two, like, curved pipes over. Oh well. I mean, it's more money for us to buy clothes with, and that's always a plus. Exactly. I think everyone wants to see more clothes. There's a lot of different styles this time. Whereas in the first game, remember we only had like this, the same style each time. Yeah. We have a bunch of different outfits this time around. Let's go. We don't have anime suit again though. Oh, you don't got that? No. But there's a there's a different suit that I like a lot more. Because it looks so stylish. This is one of the trickier ones to uh, navigate around, I think. Because, like, my first instinct was to go straight down and then, like, up and down and up and down like a weird zigzag W or whatever. But you're, you're supposed to, like, go out to that one there in, like, the middle and then go back around. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. This game would probably piss me the hell off. It, it, it got me a little mad the first time I played it because I... I, w I took too long and I didn't realize, oh, I have to go rescue this piece and that piece and bleh. But now that I've played it a bunch, I, I really like this minigame. But I did really like that exterminating one. That one was pretty fun too. Although that's... Uh, I'd probably say that's in like... Around the middle to lower half of, on the scale of minigames I like. Yeah. Well, there's a bunch more I gotta. I can't wait to see, you know? Yeah. At the rate we're going, we're probably gonna run out of, um. grinding episodes quickly. Really? <laughs> yeah, because, uh, they give you mini games in pairs of, in uh, sets of two. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's only a finite number two. Wait, this is just a grinding episode? I mean, I, I knew we had that formula and all, but. Yeah, it's another grinding episode. Damn, I was waiting to see another assassin. Uh, next time. Damn you. Well, I want to take my time and show off the game. I know, I know. Probably should have sped this up, though. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe for, yeah, this one, a little bit. Just because it's like... It's not. It's not like the bug one where it's something random can happen. With this one, it's just it's puzzle you solving. Placing a block. Yeah. I, I probably could have gotten the same effect for me, just like st sticking a picture of the solution. It, it, yeah. Oh well. I mean, if you want all the solutions, there there's literally a chart on Game Facts that shows you all all the possible solutions for this game. That just reminds me of the puzzle, and let uh, and Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker. Um, that you go to the, like, that that house in the middle of the ocean, and um, it's like an empty like room or whatever, and then you go do the puzzle. I don't know if you remember that one. I don't know. I don't think I do actually. I I like stopped playing after I um uh I awoke or I got the the unpowered master sword. Oh yeah. I need I need to go back and actually finish Wind Waker. Yeah, I, I can't wait for the Wii U one to come out. I, the only differences I hit, I've seen so far is, is this thing called a Tingle Bottle, which is associated with Miiverse, and like, if, if like, you say me and you are playing the game, uh -huh. I can see your bottle, or some random person's bottle, like when I land on an island. Oh. So is that what we're getting instead of the Tingle Tuner? I guess. That sounds not as entertaining. And then we're also getting, and then like, the Faster Sail, which... Personally, I'm glad they're doing that, but I didn't give a crap, you know what I mean? 
I, it's like I, I actually like that idea because sailing everywhere took kind of a while. Uh, yeah, I want them to do something else with it too. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I guess, but still, it, it's, a, it's nice that they're giving us the option for fast travel. Yeah. So as you can see, Still. stage four is kind of complex. Dude, yet again, I'd be so angry because <laughs> I like my fair share, my fair share of puzzles, but I don't know. <laughs> this is very twisty and turny. What? You know, huh? if we had pe if we had gamers of this generation playing, they'd probably be so pissed off. Probably. Why is there a eight bit game on my? What kind of what kind of bit is this? I mean, what kind of graphics is No More Heroes? Um, I don't know. I I, did, I just call it a modern game. On oh, my modern game. There we go. That, you know, that reminds me, I was actually watching uh, DSP play, like, a, a highlights reel of him playing Dark Souls, and that was so painful to watch. <laughs> Have you heard of DSP? Um, not really, but kind of rings a bell, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Probably not. Uh, basically, he's a guy who plays video games as his living, and is really, really bad at them. Um, that's fun to watch. No, I, I was just wanted, I was just trying to see if he was gonna give up or oh, oh. play through, but he 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 pretty much just like af after ha the halfway mark, he found out how to summon people, and he just kind of let them do the, all the work, and that's not fun. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to go work out too. And Thunder Ryu's gym was probably closed years ago, so here's the new one. This is Ryan. He'll be our trainer this time. Yeah. Also, we got we have a lot of money now. Come on. Okay, so there's too many games. Treadmill, you just kind of alternate the L and R buttons. On the Wii Remote Nunchuck, that would be B and Z. It's another 8-bit game. And you just kind of try to stay on the treadmill. It doesn't get much more complicated than that. Ryan will switch the direction on you every so often, though. Punch out. No, we're not playing punch out. Yet. Can be. I like the idea that our trainer is actively trying to like get us hurt this time. Yeah. <laughs> so that one increases our health, and the other one will increase our strength. Is there supposed to be a gay reference somewhere? I don't know if you can call it a reference because it's pretty blatant. <laughs> Want a super with me? Spar. He said spar. Oh, they said super. I was like, what the hell is a super? <laughs> All right, muscle training. He throw. He'll throw dumbbells at you, and you you either have to punch him away or kick him away. It's gonna hurt like hell. Yeah, I know. Now we're playing punch out. Sorta. I, I really like the music for this one. Yeah. Oh, he'll also blow hearts at you sometimes, and if you don't dodge them by ducking, he you will get stunned, and you're probably gonna get hit by the next dumbbell. Um, each level you're only allowed to miss a certain percentage, and if you get hit by that big one there in the first level, you're not gonna pass. But luckily, we got a perfect, so we pass. Now that's done, um, I think next we're either going to go buy clothes or buy a new katana that Naomi's whipped up for us. Alright. So, her lab's still in the same place, but it's... Seems a little different to me, to be honest. Yeah, it looks like Travis's bike is back there. Yeah, she's work. She's fixing it up. 
after we totaled it last time. Yeah, she looks very different than last time. Yeah, she's very, um, bouncy. First katana is only about 50,000 LBs. It's the Camellia Mark III. Oh, I meant her sunglasses, but okay. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Um, But she is robust. Yeah. The Camellia Mark III <laughs> is actually the Tsubaki Mark III from the last game. They just retranslated it between games for some reason. And this time around, we actually carry all our katanas at once, so we can just switch mid-battle. The Camellia is... Uh, it's not as strong as the Bloodberry, but it is faster. And it has a really cool low attack. Or at least I think it's really cool. Yo, where are you being? Well, shopping time. Apparently, in between games, his this guy's store has been wrecked, and he's he's moved shop over to buy Naomi's place. I think this place looks like crap. Yeah. There's well, we're gonna look at t-shirts in a second. First, we gotta buy the old jacket. The first outfit we said we can buy is old school, which gives us the outfit from last game. Alright, pants, old school pants. They're pretty much the same, except lighter. Sunglasses, they're pink. I thought they were orange last time, but okay. Wait, wristband. It's the same one from last time, but I kinda like the new one. Sort of. Well, at least I like the wristband. The glove is a belt. Um, and I'm, we're gonna buy the old shoes because I don't like the new ones as much. I'll take it. All right, let's look at our new shirts. I'm probably going really too quickly, but oh well. I'll take it. Pink panda. <laughs> Because nothing spells threatening like pink. No. <laughs> Alright, before we close off this epi episode, there's one last thing we have to do. Back up at the motel. Man, I love that song. The, the world map song? Yeah. It's pretty nice, yeah. It's called like Surf Santa Destroy or something. All right, so let's go interact with Jean now. I wonder if she's oh, she's huge. Jean is getting way Jeez. too fat. It's time to make her lose some weight. So we have to we're we're putting her on our diet and making her exercise, but she's gonna get mad and won't lose as much weight if she's too mad. So we have to give her snacks every now and again. First thing we're gonna do is play with her. That was close. <laughs> Waving that cat tail <laughs> as she violently pounds the ever loving crap out of it. Yep, that's, that's the kind of noise a cat makes when they beat the crap out of something. <laughs> yep. I feel like I'm watching America's funniest vi home videos. <laughs> Travis still has that booby pillow. Next, we have to make her jump. This is a hard one to do, because you have to drop it down ever, ever so slightly and then let go when it says release, but the timing on that is so finicky, so if you... Chances are you're going to hold it too long and she's just going to grab onto it when you don't want her to grab on. It's so hard to do. Yeah. Gene. Like, I'm lucky if I can get over 400 most of the time. Make that 500. That's gotta do it. All right, so now, sh now we're gonna stretch her. In, in case you really like lifting weights, uh, last game, this is the same exercise where you rapidly <laughs> mash the button. Listen to her meow; she sounds so pained. It's like she's crying out for help. Alright. 
All right. Now she's a, she's in a really bad mood, so let's feed her some premium cat food to make her feel a little better. <laughs> You're fatty. I, I've never actually seen. Oh, massage time. <laughs> Dude, it looks like he's grabbing on there and it's like moving her around like a doll. Yeah, pretty much. Look how stiff she is. It doesn't help his like. Ah. This is supposed to help lose weight. Alright, this just sounds wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be perverted or nothing, but. But hey, she lost over. She lost over a pound from that. All done. All done. I'm so good I vaporized up over a pound of fat. Just by rubbing her. Hmm.